when to use a clipper and when to use a limiter, whether it be hard clipping, soft clipping versus limiting. I'll show you guys when I use clipping and when I use limiting. Let's get an example. I'm gonna load up Knock because it has a clipper and we're gonna load up Pro L2. A limiter is a real transparent way to shave off peaks and to make your track overall louder. You can really push a limiter and some of the dynamics will get squashed, which can be good. And it will really kind of balance the sound in a very loud way. If you use something like FabFilter Pro L2, it's a super transparent way to do your limiting. A lot of times I'll use a limiter at the end of my mastering chain. Limiters are good for things like vocals, good for stuff without a lot of transient material. The difference between a limiter and a clipper, I'm talking about a clipper which usually has a variable hard and soft clipping. A clipper, what it does is it shaves off the transients. It shaves off anything that goes above zero decibels. Where a clipper works really well is on drums because drums have transient material. You can use a limiter with drums and it'll give it a different sound, but if you want your drums to hit hard, a clipper is real good. With a clipper, you can go between hard and soft clipping. Soft clipping literally will round off everything that crosses zero decibels. If you look at a soft clip waveform, it's gonna be rounded. If you move more towards hard clipping, it's gonna be more jagged. So every time that waveform crosses zero decibels, it's gonna be a sharp crossover. Interpreting the difference in actual sound, when you hear a soft clip sound, it sounds warm. It sounds like an analog console. As you get more into a hard clip sound, it sounds cold, it sounds harsh, which can be good if you want something super aggressive. The difference between a clipper and a limiter is a clipper, that distortion that you get from crossing that zero decibel threshold where it cuts the sound, it's gonna sound more punchy on a drum. Whereas with a limiter, it's gonna soften a lot of those hits a lot of times. Within each limiter, there's different presets and you can set the attack and release different to get different results. But typically with drums, I like to approach it with clipping. That's why, for example, in knock, I didn't include a limiter. I only included a clipper because it's meant to make your drums knock. It's meant to make your drums punch through. Whereas Pro L, this is something I would use at the end of my mastering chain or my mixing chain. This is also something where you could set the ceiling for your track so it doesn't go above negative one if you're sending it for streaming. Both soft clipper, hard clipper, and a limiter have their purpose and you have to use both of them. At least in my workflow, I use both. But when it comes to drums, I like using clipping. Let me give you an example of what it sounds like either way. And so watch what happens when I slam this. Listen to the tonal difference. So you can see as I turn up the volume, over here in red, it's showing the gain reduction. So you can hear Pro L2 sounds super transparent. It's not necessarily getting more punchy, but it sounds transparent and clean. Then when I take knock, and if I just use the clipper, watch what happens here as I turn this up. I'm gonna turn off Pro L2. So that's when you turn up knock. I'm gonna turn it all the way up for this example. And this slider allows you to go between hard clipping, which is jagged lines, and soft clipping, which is smooth lines. Every time those transients cross the zero decibel mark, if soft clip is on, it's gonna round out the transient. If hard clip is on, it's gonna be very jagged when it crosses over zero decibel. So listen to the difference with your ears. This is hard clipped. And this is soft clipped. Listen again. I'm gonna set the high quality mode to pristine. That gets rid of some of the aliasing in the top end. Where you really notice the difference between hard clipping and soft clipping is in a sign. And with certain drums, the soft clip is gonna sound rounder, more warm, more full. And then let's go back to the limiter. Let's turn it all the way up. So this is 30 decibels of limiting. And then let's go to clipping. We'll give it a little more volume. I 
Obviously, I'm pushing it real hard right now. Just to give you an idea, if you pay attention to how the clipper sounds, it sounds like everything keeps its punch because nothing's getting squashed. With a limiter, as you turn it up, that kick is compensating for the volume. So it's pushing down that kick. But Pro L2 does a really good job keeping everything very transparent and balanced sounding. But it's two different use cases. So when I'm doing my final touches on a master, with Pro L, I'll just give it a little bit of limiting just to bring up the overall volume of the track. Sometimes if you already do your clipping, you don't want to add more clipping. A little bit of limiting after a clipper can be really good. Let me give you an example of that. This is just a quick example. I'm going to zero out knock and I'm going to zero out Pro L2. What I want to do in this case, I want to give the drum loop more tone. So check it out. So first I'm going to increase the gain. So I gave it more tone and you wouldn't necessarily use this with a drum loop. What a limiter might do is it might just raise the overall loudness. So in this case, it's already so loud. We don't really need to use it. But if I wanted to, since it's already clipped, I would never turn it up this loud in this case. But just to get an idea, hear how Pro L can really bring it louder. and it maintains its punch because it's already been through the clipping process. Both of these plugins, Knock and Pro L2, are ways that you can increase your perceived loudness. So clipping, because it's squashing the sounds, that's why in music you hear today, a lot of the music has soft clipping. What that does is it just increases your perceived loudness. So as you do that, your track is sounding louder, but not actually louder. I hope that helps. You guys have any questions about clipping versus limiting? Decal.